Sometimes in geometry, we are asked to find the area of an unfamiliar shape like this one. This shape, outlined in black, is not a shape for which we have a formula for calculating area. But if we draw lines like these dotted lines, we can break it into more familiar shapes for which we do have formulas. Usually there will not be colored shading or dotted lines to help you decide how to break it up into familiar figures, but I have prepared for this situation by putting the lines in the shading so that you can see there is a red square with 11 meter sides, a green right trapezoid, and a small blue right triangle. To find the area of this overall shape, I will find the areas of the smaller shapes one by one. Let's start with the red square. The area formula for a square is s squared, side length squared, so I plug 11 in as my side length. 11 squared is 121, and because the distance was given in meters, the unit for area will be meters squared. Now let's work with the right trapezoid. This is the green figure here, and we can see that the height is given down here of this dotted line is 10 meters, so my h will re be replaced with a 10. And the smaller base on top here is 22 meters. In order to find the bigger base, the capital B, I have to add 6 plus 11, which I know must be the side length of this square, plus 14, and I get 31 meters. Plugging these numbers into the formula, I have 31 plus 22 times 10 divided by 2. Simplifying, 31 plus 22 is 53. times 10 divided by 2. 53 times 10 is 530 divided by 2. So the area of the right trapezoid is half of 530, 265. And again, the area unit will be meter squared because the distances were given in meters. Now we have to work with our small blue right triangle, but there's an extra step to do here. The area formula for a triangle is base times height divided by 2. And I know the base of 4 meters, but I don't know the height. I know this hypotenuse, but that is not the height of this right triangle. So I have to use Pythagoras' theorem to find the length of this side, the height of the right triangle. Plugging into Pythagoras' theorem, which I have put here, I will use 4 as my a and 10 as my C. Which gives me 4 squared plus B squared equals 10 squared. 4 squared is 16, and 10 squared is 100. I can end up isolating my B squared. I get 100 minus 16 which is 84. Therefore, b is going to be equal to the square root of 84. Which is this long decimal number, 9.16515. I will round it off to 9.165. All of the distances were in meters, and this is a distance, the height of the triangle, so it's also in meters. Now it's time to plug the base 4 meters and the height 9.165 meters into the area formula for a triangle in order to find the area of that triangle. The base is 4. And the height is 9.165. Four times nine point one six five, 
I'm not using the rounded off 9.165 to do this calculation. My calculator still has the exact longer decimal. So I multiply that by 4. And I get 36.66. And again, the long decimal. I will round it off to 36.66. Still has to be divided by 2, which gives me 18.33. Now this value is not exact because I did have to round off, but so long as I follow any instructions that were given in my question about rounding rules, round off to the nearest hundredth, round off to the nearest tenth, at the end with my final answer, I will be fine and I will have the correct right answer. I want to avoid rounding off in intermediate steps and wait until the final step of the question to round off. And that is what I'm doing by keeping the real numbers in the memory of the calculator. Again, this is an area and these distances were given in meters. So this 18.33 will be meters squared. And I have found the area of all three figures, the triangle, the right trapezoid, and the square, the only thing left to do is to add them together so that I can give my final answer the area of the overall shape. I don't have much room, but I will write where I can find a space. I have 121 plus 18.33 plus 265. I add these together and I get 404.33. Again, the unit of area was meter squared every time, so the unit of area for the final answer will also be given in meter squared unless I was asked for something different in the question. This is how we find the area of an unfamiliar shape. We break it into several smaller, more familiar shapes for which we have area formulas. In doing so, we have choices. I made the choice to break this into three shapes, the right triangle, the square, and the green trapezoid. But if I had been given the right information in my diagram or in my question, it's possible I could have broken this green trapezoid further into a large rectangle and another right triangle. This time I was not given that type of information. To find the area of an unfamiliar shape, break it into smaller, familiar shapes, and use the area formulas for those shapes and then add your areas together at the end.